this is Introduction to Mechanical Engineering, the 20, 17 to 18 exam question 10. Um, part A, the question here is about fibre reinforced polymer composites. Uh, part A is kind of a written answer of explaining why you would use them and what the role of fibres is. I'm not going to write out my answer here, you can read that elsewhere. It's just worth quickly saying uh, fibre reinforced polymer composite, you have fibres, that's kind of thin strands of perhaps glass or um, carbon, uh, and you have those encased in the polymer, which might well be epoxy. Um, that's the kind of setup you have. Um, and the fibres are really there to provide stiffness and strength, and the epoxy holds the whole thing together. And what you end up with is uh, a very good stiffness to weight ratio and strength to weight ratio um, and that's why we use carbon fiber or uh, re fiber reinforced polymer composites more generally. Um, so in part B which is really what I'm going to focus on here we've got this table of information about the fiber and the epoxy those two things together will make up the composite and then we're comparing it all to steel which is here. Um, and we're asked first of all to calculate the Young's modulus of the composite, which is 47 volume percent carbon fibre. And then we're asked something about weight saving. Um, this is one of those questions where it's good to know your data sheet, uh, which is just across the page. You've got an equation here for the uh, sigma is the um, Young's, sorry, uh, uh, sigma's a uh, stress or strength, uh, what we're looking at is the Young's modulus, which is capital E, Young's modulus of the composite as a function of Young's modulus of the fibre, volume fraction of the fibre, Young's modulus of the matrix, volume fraction of the matrix. And you can express all of that in terms of volume fraction of the fibre, which is all information we have in the question. So I'm just going to write down, this is 10b1, I'm going to write down that equation straight off the data sheet. E C, the Young's modulus of the composite equals E F V F plus E M one minus V F, which equals, and then all of that information is here in the question. So we'll go through it in turn. E F subscript F stands for fiber. So that's Young's. Uh, uh, Young's modulus, modulus of elasticity, you have to know that Young's modulus and modulus of elasticity are the same thing, um, of the fiber which is 430, I'll write everything in gigapascals and then my final answer will be in gigapascals. It's 47 volume percent, that's 0 0.47 volume fraction, just under a half basically. Plus Young's modulus of the matrix, that's the epoxy, 3 times 1 minus the volume fraction of fiber, 0.47 equals um, 1 minus 0. Point. two o three point six nine. I'm going to call that 204 gigapascals. And the information in the question was in gigapascals. Um, this number's in, sorry, this 430 is in gigapascals. This 3 is in gigapascals. So, final answer is also in gigapascals. And that's the answer. So, you can see if you knew where on the formula sheet to look, those were two marks that were uh, quite easy to come by. You write down the formula and you fill in numbers from the question. Uh, part two says determine the percentage of weight saving. So now we're into weight. Um, we've got these densities in the question and we look at the formula sheet for composites. Rho is density and there's this density equation here. So I'm just going to jump straight to that. The density of the composite is the density of the fiber times volume fraction of fiber plus density of the matrix times one minus volume fraction of the fiber. And again, we know all of those things. That is 1750 times 0 0.47 plus 1250 times 1 minus 0 
which is 1485 kilograms per cubic meter. It's going to have the same units as the densities that I was working with, sorry, the densities that I was working with from the question. Um, so that's the density, um, and obviously density is mass per cubic meter, and we're told in the question we're working with the same volume, so densities correspond to masses here, and we're looking for a weight saving. So the weight saving as a percentage, well that's the change in weight, uh, which or change in mass, would just be multiplying by gravity otherwise everywhere and so the the mass saving is the same as the weight saving and I think we're using weight colloquially here to mean mass anyway. So uh, the weight saving is the change in mass divided by the initial mass times 100 which equals the change in density divided by the initial density times 100 and we're going from steel to composite and we want to know the saving so that's from 7850 the reason I'm saying uh, by the way that I can the ratio of mass to mass is the same as the ratio of density to density is because mass equals uh, rho V and we're saying V is the same in both cases so mass will be proportional to um, density and the ratio of masses will be the same as the ratio of densities. Anyway, uh, the change in density that we're using, we've gone from something steel which weighed 7850 kilograms per cubic meter to composite which weighs 1485 and we need that expressed as a fraction of the original weight um, and uh, we multiply all of that by 100 to get a percentage and then I can just put that into a calculator 7850 minus 1485 divided by 7850 times 100 which gives me 81.1 percent weight saving. Uh, this number here is about 80 percent lower, so it's only about 20% of the density of steel, and that's really what we're calculating here. The final answer is 81% weight saving. And that, combined with appropriate written answers for part A, is the complete answer to the question, and uh, that's how you do question 10.